My bees survived the winter and I'm so happy about this because I hear some pretty tragic stories of beekeepers having all their bees die off in the winter months. This can happen for a number of reasons. They can run out of food, they can get affected by pests and diseases, or they can get cold and damp. But right now I am very grateful and happy that my bees have survived and they, they look like they're thriving. There, there's so many bees flying in and out the entrances. Loads of pollen is coming in on their pollen sacs on their hind legs, which is a really good sign because the pollen is food for the baby bees. It's high in protein. Anyway, it looks like the bees are very healthy looking from the outside, but today we're gonna do our first inspection of both the hives and we're gonna have a look at what's going on inside. I'm going to light my smoker, put my hood on my bee suit, try not to get stung, and I'm gonna show you inside the beehive. Birch bark. I got some new gloves. These ones are like a leathery material and they go up your arm so far. I don't think I'm ever gonna be stung through this, but also I don't think I'll be able to feel through the gloves very easily. Ideally, you want to have good sense through your fingers so you can pick up the frames easily. And these gloves are a little bit thick and feel a bit clumsy, but we'll give it a go. I'm coming in bees, just letting them know I'm here. That there is the food that I've been feeding them. It might look a bit brutal, but the way you normally get bees off things is to shake them. Smoke! Hive tool, you need this to break open the hive parts. There's a lot of bees in there. There's bees in between every single frame, which I think is a sign of a strong colony of bees. Let's have a look inside, shall we? I'm smoking myself. See how they all just go down when you smoke them? And then because they're away, it avoids you squashing them with your fingers when you're trying to open it up. So this is just a board which fills the space in the hive. Bees. Oh wow, that frame is heavy. Oh, wow, that's full of honey, that frame. Frame number one, full of honey. This could be honey that they stored last year, or maybe even honey that they have started making this year. I'm not too sure. It means they've got loads of food and animals need food. Wow, that frame is also full of honey. That is heavy. They have got so much honey stored. It's quite overwhelming looking inside a beehive as there's so much going on. These first few frames just contained honey. This is because the bees store their food on the end frames of a hive and also above the nest area. If you think of it like a, a round ball, which is the nest, and then above and to the side of that nest, is where they store the food. As we get further into the hive, we'll begin to see the nest, which contains the eggs and brood. Eggs! I've just found eggs. Which means there's a queen in here laying the eggs. <laughs> the eggs will either turn into female worker bees or male drone bees. It's fascinating how the queen lays her eggs. To lay a female worker bee, she allows the egg to become fertilized by opening a little valve that lets sperm come in contact with the egg before it is laid in a cell. However, if she wants to lay a male bee, she lays an unfertilized egg. In a colony of honeybees, you need both males and females. The male bee's job is to mate with queen bees. 
but not the one in their own colony, as that would be inbreeding. The females do everything else, from raising the brood, to making honey and looking after the queen. So there's lots of pollen in there. Pollen, drone brood, worker brood. It's got everything it needs. That one's dancing. If you weren't aware already, bees can dance. Can't use my phone with these gloves. Dancing bee, look at it. That wiggling bee there is telling all the other bees where to find the food. They're all watching it. There's a lot of pollen in this frame. Just wanted to show you what a frame looks like when there's no bees on it. Look at all of that. That is capped over worker brood. There's some drone brood at the top, those larger lumps, but that's mostly worker brood. And there's some bees actually hatching out of there right now. They're being born. You can do it. Squeeze. Go on, son. I mean, daughter. One last push. And she's alive! That bee is 10 seconds old. This is what the world looks like. Wow, that's amazing. We just watched life happen. I've got a male bee on my hand. They don't have a stinger. Another frame full of bees and brood. I found the queen and she is the same queen that we had last year that I marked with a little yellow pen. That's so cool. Yeah, we still got yellow queen. It's mad, that one queen has laid all these eggs and is the mum to all these bees. The queen always seems to have a group of worker bees surrounding her. I think that's because they constantly look after her as she is very important to the colony. I hear a bum, there's a bumblebee underneath my hive. Three more frames left to have a look at. Oh my goodness, like what? They just sometimes go nuts like that. They just decide that you're the enemy. That's a cool looking frame. <laughs> And last frame is full of honey and pollen. I'm just gonna scrape all this extra wax that they've built off the top. Cause that will make inspecting them in the future harder if there's a load of wax in there. I'll be able to melt this wax down and turn it into candles as well. Before I put the lid on this hive, I'm going to add a couple of things. Firstly, we've got this metal sheet with holes in. These holes are of the right size so that worker bees can go through them, but the queen can't. So I put this on top of the brood box where the queen lives. So the queen won't go into the honey box, which I'm about to put on. We don't want the queen laying eggs in the honey. You just want there to be honey and nothing else. So if you only let worker bees up, then you'll only get honey. This is called a super. It's just a box full of frames where the bees will make the honey. All these frames are already drawn out. Can you see these frames had honey in them last year? and they're ready just to be filled back up with honey. Last year I started with just sheets of foundation wax, which is basically a sheet of wax which hasn't been drawn out yet. But these are completely ready to be stored with honey. We should give us a head start this year, which means we should get more honey. 
Not all was good though, as some of the frames that I had been storing from last season had been eaten away by wax moth. It's a type of moth that, when it's in its larval stage, it eats through beeswax, leaving behind a trail of silk threads. I was just hoping the bees would do a good job of tidying up the mess the wax moth had made. There's 12 frames in this box, and by having an extra box on the hive, that firstly gives the bees more space, they won't be so cramped in the bottom box, and that means the bees are less likely to try and swarm. If they haven't got any space, they're gonna think, geez, we need to find a new home, and half the bees will leave and, and find a new home elsewhere. By adding this extra box, they have more space, they have space to store honey, and they should be less likely to swarm. The lid goes on, followed by the roof. I'm very pleased that this hive is healthy and looking good. Hopefully it will make me lots of honey this year. Now I'm gonna check in my other hive. Oh, there's me queen. That queen's bigger. Hive number two is also looking really good. There's loads of dancing bees on this frame. Yay! Both hives have loads of bees in them. They have stores of food, they have a queen, they have new emerging brood that are hatching, and they are flying loads today, bringing in so much pollen, which can only be a good thing. And this is just the start of the beekeeping season because from now until the end of summer, I need to check these bees and do an inspection like this every single week. And the main reason for checking them once a week is to prevent them from swarming. And the main reason for not wanting them to swarm is that it means I lose half my bees and they take loads of honey with them when they go. So I want to not let them swarm. And if you check them once a week, you can spot signs of swarming and control it and prevent the swarm from happening. Thanks for watching this beekeeping episode. I will see you soon.